Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. In today's video, we are going to tackle a hotly debated topic within our industry, and that's whether or not you need a degree to be an e-learning or an instructional designer. So let's get to it. You know, I've been working as an e-learning designer for over 10 years now. And if there's one thing I've always loved about our industry is how diverse it is in terms of people's backgrounds and how they fell into e-learning and all of that great stuff. However, with all of the diversity we have within our industry, I found that most folks fall into one of two groups. Those who fell into e-learning, instructional design, or education by total accident, and then, of course, those who have a formal background in education, instructional design, and all of that great stuff. And it's my opinion that because there's just so much diversity in terms of how folks enter our industry, folks, especially those who fell into it by accident, oftentimes wonder whether or not they need a degree to be considered a real e-learning designer or a real instructional designer. And answering that question is complicated. You see, there are some folks who believe that, yes, you absolutely should go pursue some sort of formal degree or education if you want to be taken seriously within this industry. And of course, there are folks on the opposite spectrum who don't believe you need any type of degree to be taken seriously in this industry. Now, I, on the other hand, I fall somewhere in between these two extremes. And your decision as to whether or not you need a degree ultimately depends on what type of career path you're seeking to pursue. Personally, I don't have a degree or any formal background in e-learning, instructional design, education, or anything like that. I have a degree in criminal justice, and that's because before I entered the world of e-learning, I used to catch shoplifters for a living. And I just happened to be really good at catching shoplifters. And as a result, I was promoted into a position to help train others on how to catch shoplifters. And the rest is sort of history. However, while my experience leans towards those who fell into this industry by accident, it does not mean that I wouldn't have benefited from some sort of formal education or a degree. Seeking a formal education in instructional design or adult learning can, it can really give you a leg up in terms of understanding the various learning theories that took me years to understand and appreciate. And not only that, it's something that looks great when you're submitting a resume or seeking career advancement. So those all sound like great things, right? Well, yeah, of course they are. But the problem with that is that a degree will not provide you the practical, real-world skills and experience that I believe most employers are looking for. And this is one of the, the fundamental things that I believe is changing within our industry. More and more employers are moving away from hiring uh, with a focus on credentials, years of experience, formal education, all of that great stuff. Instead, employers are looking more and more to hire for specific skills and abilities. They want to hire for what you can offer them right now. Sometimes that means being able to use a specific e-learning authoring tool or being able to manage multiple learning programs with different stakeholders and subject matter experts. And sometimes it means all of the above. <laughs> These are things that you can only gain through experience. And more often than not, you can't gain these skills by spending a bunch of money and time on a formal degree. So do you need a degree to be an e-learning designer or an instructional designer? Hmm. No, absolutely not. However, can a degree enhance your career and help you be a more effective e-learning designer or instructional designer? Well, gosh, absolutely it can. Personally, you know, I've never lost out on a potential job or client due to my lack of a formal degree. My skills and abilities have always managed to compensate for that. However, for anyone else out there, you might have a different career path or different career goals or experiences that might make it advantageous for you to go seek a formal education. So my recommendation is, is that if you do go and seek a degree or a formal education, make sure you understand why you're doing it in the first place. The reasons for making that big of an investment in yourself has to be more than just believing it's what you're supposed to do. 
All right, so that's my take on whether or not you need a degree to be an e-learning designer or an instructional designer, which leads me to my question of the day. Do you believe you need a degree to be an e-learning designer or instructional designer? Why or why not? Share your thoughts by commenting below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to learn more about growing your e-learning career, check out the e-learning designers academy at elearningacademy.io. My name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I will see you around.